All right, chop, chop. Let's get you moving, start your music. A little breezy out here. All right, feet nice and wide. Big inhale up. Still down, one more. And tempo, lift and lower, up and down. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two, hold it on, hold it. And choosing how low you go, where are your knees going? That way, not this way, that way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it to a lunge and reach it. Reach it. One hand on the thigh, one hand reaching to the sky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Turn, lunge. Woo! Drive through that front foot. Reach up as you can. Four more. Three, two. Hold it down. Let's pulse. Shoulders are relaxed. Make sure your neck is in line with your spine. Give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five. Now my hands are going to go to the floor, straddling that front foot. Cross the foot in, step out. Cross in, step out. Cross in, step out. My ankles are crossing. The front leg is staying still. Last one. Now I'm going to pike it up for two and lunge two. Pike it up and lunge. Up for two, out for two, up for two. Hold it here, take that back knee, down and up. Seven, six. If you'd rather be standing up tall, that's fine too. Woo, three, two. Now walk your hands to face me, keep them on the mat, little pulses. Woo, four, three, two. Pull it up, inhale up, exhale down. One more. Turn it over, other side, up and down. Knee over the ankle in front, please. It's a downward movement, not forward. Four, three, two. Hold it up. Let's pulse it here. Go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me eight more. Eight, seven, six. Five. We're going to straddle that foot, hands to the mat, cross the ankles, in, out, in, out. Four more. Three. Get ready to pike up for that hamstring stretch. Here we go. Up for two. Lunge forward. My hands stay still. Pike it up. Take it forward. Lift it up. Take it forward. I inhale up. I exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Walk those hands center. Keep them on the mat. And pulse that little squat. Woo! Now keep pulsing. Take a hand to each thigh. Bring that chest up. You got it. Good morning. Oh! Are those quads talking to today already? What did we do yesterday? Huh. <laughs> Clasp those hands, hold still. Side, center, side, center. Keep your hips still. Twist. <sighs> Exhale. Make sure your belly's pulling in and up. Tempo, lunge it. Yes, you got it. So, today's class butts and guts. Get those abs at the end, a lot more stretches, and then you're done. Woo, don't let that wind blow you away. Free air conditioning today. Seven, six, five, four. Now hold center, hands to your quads. We're going to arch for two, pull it up, pulse the plie. Four, three, two, hands to the quads. Arch down, round it up. 
four, three, two, hands to the quads, inhale down. So I'm seeing just heads just dropping down on that. It's arch. So it's look head forward, then head looks down and pulse. You got it. To the quads, head looks forward, eyes to the belly. Four, three, two, one more. Inhale down, exhale up. Now I'm going to keep this pulse going on. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to turn and do a lunge with a pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back to me. One, two, three. Knees tracking over those toes. Four, three, two. Spin over the side. Other way. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to center. Come on. Woo! Hold it here. Pause. Heel up, heel down. Heel up, heel down. Woo! I'm going to work you harder today so you don't get cold outside. Come on. Up, down, up, down, up, up. Good. Up. Now I'm going to add a little pulse and go tempo. So as I'm pressing down, my heel is pressing up. You got it. Stay with me. Woo! And just when you feel like those legs have had enough of a burn, we transition to the core. When the core feels it had enough, we go back to the butt. Love it today. Even the thought, butts and guts, so let's do it. You guys awake? Barely? Okay. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, shift your weight to this side. This leg is straight. Barely have any weight on the toes. Reach those arms up. We're going to drive those hands to that knee and reach. Now, my standing leg is bent. It's staying bent. I'm resisting pulling that knee up, and I'm just tapping those toes. Now, I know it'd be nice if we didn't have to work with this quad holding us up because that quad wants that break, right? I know. We can do this. Very lightly tap that floor. Three, two. Now tempo for three. And then on four, I'm gonna reach out and tap the toes. Get out of that quad for one little count. One, two, three. Reach and pull back in. Two, three. Pull it out, pull it in. Two, three. Woo! One. Two, three, reach. One, two, three, reach. Now instead of reaching, let's just keep that knee going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you give me eight more? You sure can. Six, don't get to breathe. Four, three, two, step it out. Woo! That felt good. Keep it moving. We've got eight more. And they're going to go up to the other leg. Four more here. Weight on the other leg. Reach those toes long. Arms come up. In. Tap. Don't forget to breathe. In. Reach. In. Reach. Now, if we're not contracting this diagonal muscle, your oblique, you're not working it. So just lifting your leg is not enough. You need to squeeze those muscles. Four more. Three. Now I'm going to do three quick. One, reach out. One, two, three, reach it out. One, two, three, reach. One, two, three. You got it. Reach. Grab it in. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three. Can you give me two more? One, two, three. Reach, pull it in. Now this time we're going to keep pulling it in. Here we go. Pull, two, three. And I'm just tapping my toes back here, not my whole foot. It's like, ooh, hot floor. Four more. 
four, three, two, tap it out. Woo! You made it. And it feels good. All right. Let's go back to our legs. I'm going to be doing a front lunge, tap center, back lunge. You have to be careful with front lunges because if you don't do them correctly, they overweight your knee. So if you don't feel comfortable doing a front lunge, do all rear lunges. Okay? All right. So I'm going to turn to face the side. Okay? I'm going to start with my right leg. To do a front lunge, I need to keep my body weight lifted up. Got it? So I'm going to take it forward, tap center, same leg is going to go back, tap center. One more slow. If this does not feel good to our knee, we'll do only rear lunges. I'll be ready. Four, three, two, one. Forward, tap, back, tap, forward, back, forward, back. You got it. Forward. Think of balancing that dinner plate on top of your head. Now, if you want balance challenge, instead of tapping, lift a knee. Bam. Play with it. Woo! What works for you? Lift. Back. One more. Let's stay back and pulse that lunge. How'd it go? Woo! Now we're going to squat, take the feet, shoulder width apart, clasp your hands. Give me our transition to the other side. Anybody need another modification than what I've given already? Just staying to the rear. Four. Let's rehearse on the left side. I take it forward, tap. I take it back, tap. Stay upright, no leaning forward. Here we go. Forward, tap. So now I need a more explosive move for my standing leg. Push drive. Proud chest, please. Whew. If I go too fast, go your own pace. You want to try the knee up? Try it. We're moving at about 128 beats per minute. Unless that's changed, I'll check it and make sure it hasn't gotten faster. Whew. I feel it, do you? We're going to stay back on this one. Clasp those hands and pose. Love it. Heart rate got up there a little bit more. Breathing has changed. You're making a difference in your body. Feet shoulder width apart. Squat. Are we cold? Are we okay? Okay. Jane, you still got your jacket on. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, core. All right. I'm going to take my hands down. I'm going to walk out to a plank. You can be on your forearms. You can be on your knees. Pick what works for you. Got it? I'm going to take my right knee to my right elbow. Hold it for three. And then my left knee to my left elbow. Take it out. So you're hitting those obliques again. <coughs> Two, three. Squeeze the lemons with those armpits. So if you're on your knees in a modification, you can still take that knee out. One, two, three. Or maybe you want to drive it in like this. You pick it. Hold. Two, three. Hold. Two, three. Now I'm going to stay next time to one side and add a single leg down dog in with that. So I'm going to go hold. Two, three. Lift up. Drive it and hold. Lift up. You don't have to do the lift up. You can take your foot back into that plank. Four more. Two, three. Three, two, three. You make it work for your level today. Every day is a new day. 
Woo! Okay. Hold it down, dog. Weight back. Now, if you don't feel this is a rest position, bend your knees and then shoot your glutes back. Got it? All right, back to your plank. Left knee, hold three. One, two, lift it up. Drive. Two, three. There's two already. You're going to be halfway there. Hold. Two, three. Are you squeezing lemons with those armpits? Woo! Three more. Three more. I love these. You got a little breeze going. So you're not getting overly hot and sweaty. Hold that down, dog. Drop that leg down. Hold it. Good. Step your feet in or hop your feet in and stand up. Woo! Roll those shoulders. Roll those wrists. Woo! Nicely done. Okay, so I'm going to add weights with these next exercises here. So we're going back to the butt, and we're going to do some curtsies, okay? So I'm going to hold my weights here. I'm going to start with this leg crossed behind. Before I get you moving, I make sure that your hips and your shoulders are in that box, okay? And we're going to stay in place, down and up, down and up. Now, the arms I give you has just extra. We'll get your heart rate up higher. You got it. We're really focusing on butts and guts, down, up. Now I'm going to turn my palms to face me. When I come up, I'm going to sweep up, and then my palms face me again. So it's to me, away from me. My second set. And I go straight up. <sighs> down, lift. My next set, I'm going to add my toe, tapping out. <sighs> So again, if this is challenging enough for you, don't add the arms. Keep the elbows bent and palms turned in. So once you're focusing on the leg, it's in front. Whew. Love these. I say that about everything, don't I? I love it all. Come on. Now stay behind and pulse. You got it. Now to transition, I'm going to step on to a squat. Okay, I'll count down from eight. Not yet. I'm still pulsing. Still pulsing. You got it. One, two, three. Give me four more here. Four. Let the weights hang down. Legs wide. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Now if you want, you can reach it up. Palms are turned in. Knees are forward. Toes are forward. I can see your eyeballs when you're squatting down. That's it. It's always best to look slightly higher than eye level. So your chest is staying proud. Lower back is staying safe. Come on. You want to add on to this? Lift the knee. Other knee. So remember, adding these arms and the weights is going to make the heart rate go up. You've got to be able to talk in a complete sentence without gasping for air. It's called the talk test. So when you need to, maybe you do a tap or maybe you just stand up. Maybe you don't do the legs or maybe you don't just lift the knee, you just do the squat. Got it? I exhale as I drive it up. Four more. Stronger you today. Whew. Okay. Nicely done. Shake it out. Other leg. Cross behind before you start. Hips under shoulders. So you're mirroring me. Bend those arms. Hold it here for now. We can stay here the whole time. I inhale, exhale, catch your breath. Do you need a longer break? You don't go into big movements then. You wait until you're back in that steady state and you're ready to work again. You'll notice the more fit you are, the quicker you can bring that heart rate back down. Turn the palms to you. If you want, you sweep it back up. 
sweep. So I'm driving through that front heel, front thigh, front glute. Don't get to breathe. If you want, you can tap it out. Use the breath, it helps. So this is like a single leg squat, right? That one leg is working. Other leg is helping the balance. If you don't like these arms, do something else that works for you. Now keep the leg behind. Pulse it. Woo! And you've either had the hands turned in, that's fine. Do what works for you, but keep moving safely, correctly. I'm always watching. Give me eight more here. We're going to go back to those sumo squats. I count down from four. Four, three, two, punch it down. Bring it up. Get ready. Fire up that core soon. Let's go. Now, if you want, you can add a knee up. Punch it up. Lift. If I'm lifting this knee, I'm straightening that one leg. I straighten it. Proud chest, right? Sit back on those heels. Protect those knees. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out. Back to abs. All right. Take it down to your mat. And that's probably a big mistake. You won't want to get back up. <laughs> that's okay. You can use weights or not. I always encourage you to use other props. So when I'm leaning back and holding this position for our Russian twist, you can have a play ball behind you, a cushion, a pillow. All right. So... My legs, one fist width apart. I'm holding my weight right here. I'm gonna take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, bring it back. All right, so I'm gonna twist front, center, back. Now, if it makes you dizzy, looking side to side, you can look more straight ahead. Just don't go crazy with that twist. I'm exhaling on the way back up. Next level, you can balance on your sit bones. But if you do this and it goes right to that lower back, that's not for you today. Got it? You can sit up taller if need be. Just keep the core engaged. Pull it in, zip it up. You know that. Let's go. Make sure you're working from the core, not your back. Not your arms. The weights are just making it more work to bring it back around. You don't have to use two weights. You don't have to use one weight. Can you give me four more? Four. Three. Two. And one. Feet down. Weights down. Hands behind you. Elbows bent. Draw those knees in. I'm going to press one leg out. And then the other leg. As I lean away from that leg, crunch up. Now, if you don't want to have the feet dangling off your mat, keep one foot at a time on the floor. Yep. You got it. How can I make this more challenging? If it's not challenging enough, two legs. Make sure your glutes are firing when you press all the way out. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Out. Woo. Love it. Come on. Give me eight more. Count with me. Eight. I can't hear you. Seven. Oh, you're so quiet. Sounds like one person's in class with me. Four. It also tells me you're breathing. Two. And one. Let those knees fall out. Take it forward. All right. We're coming back up for some side lunges. Woo! All right, bring it all the way up. Weights off to the side. 
Let's go. Break over. Am I going to get you back up? Chop, chop. Let's go. Last one up has to do push-ups. Who is it? <laughs> All right. So we're going to start towards the center of our mat. We're going to lunge with this leg starting first. So it's going to go one, two, three, step in. Same side. We're going to keep leaning with this side. One, two, three. Now I'm going to pick it up. One, two, three. One, two. Now, if you want more support for your back, the hands would go to each thigh. Got it? Now, how can I make it more challenging? Add a knee up. Woo! Squeeze that booty. Two, three. Squeeze. One. Broad chest, right? Eyes higher than chest level. Whoop, whoop. Love these. I hope you're agreeing with me on one of those statements when I say I love these. Come on. Don't lose that balance. One, two, three. Drive. One, two, three. Are you ready for this? One. Two, three. I want you to hold this knee up. Hold it up. Whoa. Push those arms behind you as you lift that knee. Open the chest. Fire the rear delt. Back of the upper arm. Lock your standing leg. Find that focal point. How's it going? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, squat pulse. Woo! I didn't want to give you a break. I thought about it for a brief second. Like, nope, I'm going to keep them moving. Okay, so we're going to rehearse with this leg. Side, 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 tap in. Go slow. So we're going to go right, left, right, tap in. One, two, three, Tap in. One, two, three, go. One. Now, if you want extra support for your spine, hands go to each leg. My standing leg left here is what's driving that leg back in, but guess what? My inner thighs are working to bring those legs back in. Core, glutes. Let's go. Two, three. One, two, three. Now, if you want, you can do a knee. Balance. One, two, three. You're always balancing that dinner plate. Never look down and tip that chin towards the chest. One, two, three. Lift. One, two, three. Three. We good? We okay? All right. Hold this knee up. Pulse the arms behind you. Lift your knee. Lock your standing leg. Make sure you don't sink into this hip. Lift the weight up. Up. Breathe. All the air out of your center. Contract these abdominal muscles. Let's go. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Ready to pulse your squat? Now. Come on. Hanging in there. Drive through those heels. Come on, I'm seeing knees buckling in. Those knees, they have a play ball between them. And our thighs are working. Need to put a ball there, put a ball there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Okay, back to our abs. Grab a drink if you need one. Take it down to the floor. We're going to do a rope climb. Rope climb. We're going to climb this rope up for four, down for four. You're going to see my rope in my hands. You choose how low you go. If you need to, put a ball back there so you don't go all the way down. With me, here we go, lower down, two, 
three, bring it back up, one, two, three, four, take it down. Now, if you'd rather do a different count, if you'd rather just take your head and shoulders off the mat and give me two counts, if you'd rather have your hands behind your head, play with it. Take it down. Woo! Now, I call this the easier version. My next version, which you don't have to go to, is only coming up about a quarter of the way, and it's only three counts. And you got one count and only one count to lower the head and shoulders back down. So if you go too high, you'll know it because you can't make it down there with us. That makes sense? Maybe. Okay, so I don't want to see you coming up onto your side. You can't come up onto your side. Do it again. Make it good. Come on. Don't come up on your side. Fight that better. You know who I'm talking to. Okay, pause at the bottom. If you need to watch first, here's what the three count one looks like. One, two, three. One, two, three. Back down. Watch your neck. I always have that apple under my chin. One, two, three. Back down. One, two, three. If this isn't working, pick an ab crunch that works for you. Coming down nice and easy. Coming up with no momentum. Four more. One, two, three. You are more than halfway through fast. Let's go. Two more. Two, three. Are you breathing? Exit on the crunch. Inhale, release. Hug those knees in. Woo! I hope that went well for you. All right, we're standing up. Let's go. Giddy up. Grab a drink if you need one. All right, so I use my weights for this one. I do this all the time. This stuff is nothing probably new to you. It's just a different order, different way in class we're doing it. All right, so I want to do a glute raise and also a reverse fly. So I got my right leg forward. I'm going to bend that knee. I barely have any weight here on my back leg. I'm going to reach my arms onto a diagonal. My palms are turned in. As I lift that back leg, I'm going to do my reverse fly. Squeeze that booty. Keep the hips in a straight line. Wow, I need to get that windy today. Okay, anybody counting? I'm going to say that's four sets of eight. Now, I want you to drive your elbows back, hold that leg, and we're going to pulse triceps and glutes. Got it? All right, we still got, we still got people on Zoom. Okay, we didn't lose that connection. Let's go. Squeeze. Ah! So when you're balancing here, Focus on this front inner thigh contracting into your center line. It helps your balance. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. All right, so I'm going to step back with my right leg. Left leg lunges forward. I have most of my weight here. I can lift this leg very easily. Are you ready? Four, three, two, go. Woo! Two. Three, four, how are we doing? Five, six, are you squeezing those shoulder blades? Come on, pull it back there. Squeeze your booty, find that focal point. Uh-oh, big wind coming again. Woo! Lift, lower, lift, lower. Come on, come on. If you'd rather stand up straight, and doing this way, that works. Three, two. Now drive the elbows back, balance, kick back, pulse. Come on, squeeze that booty. Squeeze, squeeze. Woo! Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight more here. Four, three, two, one. Bring it in. Shake it out. Lift those knees. Release those hips. I love it. All right. So we're going to do an alternate back. I'll bend my knees. Arms out in front. I'm still doing my reverse fly. I'm alternating. My front leg is not changing. It's staying still. Woo! Out. In. I exhale as I pull my weights out. Belly in. Neck in line with your spine. You got it. Out. In. Squeeze. Watch your neck. You should not feel any strain to your neck. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Now hold the arms still. Tap the toes back. You pick which leg goes first. I'm going to go back into my little pulses here. But I'm not going to move my arms. It's 110% glute firing here. Focus it there. If you need to hold on to something, do it. Woo! Come on, make a fist with that butt cheek. Four, three, two. Bring it in, both knees are bent. Step back, the other toes. And pulse. Woo! Yeah. Two, three, four, six. Are you squeezing that bum? Are your hips in a straight line? You turn that hip away from your center line. I don't know, you tell me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Back onto our mats. If you've ever done Pio, the term of this is called beast. I call it walking planks. All right. Dust off your mat from the wind, breathe, rolling everything onto it. All right. So I'm going to start in a quadruped position. Shoulders over wrist, hips over knees. Got it? Okay. Lift up your knees off that mat. And I'm doing so from my core. I'm going to go out right, out left, in right, in left. Out, out, in, in. Now, if this is not working for you, I want you to pick a plank that works for you. You got to squeeze in those armpits. Keep the abdominals firing. Your back is holding up the ceiling or the sky. Got it? Woo, let's just do a quick set. Out in. Uh-huh. Two. Three. Four. Come on, come on. Four more. Woo. Three. Two. One. Knees down. Stretch back. Make a cup with your hand. Release those wrists. How'd that go? Okay, so hopefully you're going out, out, and in, in with the same leg. If you were alternating, continue to alternate. If not, I'm going to my left leg. Did I mention that? I don't even know. I don't even know. So, okay, here we go. Classes aren't always perfect, are they? <laughs> but we keep moving. Shoulders over wrist, hips over knees. Draw the navel in. Squeeze your armpits. Lift those knees off. Left leg. Out, out, in. In, out, out, in, in, out, out, in. And remember, when you need to reset and take a break, just lower those knees to your mat. Join us when you're ready. Woo! -hoo! Let's pick up tempo. Out, out, in, in. Seven, six, five, four, three. Ah, two, and one. You know what's next. Knees down. Release those wrists. Woo! All right, back to the booty. All right, so I'm going to come back out into my quadruped for a second. You guys still with me? All right. I'm going to put my forearm, because I need you to make sure you're facing me. So the forearm that's furthest away from me is going to go down. So that's your right forearm, your left. Okay? So I'm leaning. I want you to take the leg that's closest to the front out. 
and draw it towards you and you're going to look at it. Now I'm going to push it up diagonal and then back in diagonal. I'm going to stay on this diagonal. And I'm lengthening my leg and squeezing my glute. Now, yes, your obliques are working. Shoulder and the bottom is working. Take your time. Hips are working. It's a team effort here. Two more slow. Out, out, diagonal down. Let's try single count. Exhale, inhale, three. So maybe about now you start to feel it. You guys, you like these? Oh, I didn't say that. You said it first. Okay, good. <laughs> Two, three, four. Come on. Five. Just when you think you can't do any more, we're going to do two more. And now I want you to hold this leg up and pulse it. Woo! Work hard. You got a nice breeze for you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit back. Woo! Could you feel that or not? Okay. I think the glute's still there. All right, so now we're going to do the opposite side, okay? So my opposite forearm comes down. I'm going to take that leg that's in front of me out. Draw your knee towards your arm. Now I'm going to reach to a diagonal. Reach your toes. The knee comes back down towards that arm. Exhale as you press out. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Reach those toes long. Woo! Couple more double count. Out for two. In for two. Out for two. Just two more. They're going to pick it up. You got this. Are you squeezing muscles? Gosh, I hope so. Single. Shh. Come on, squeeze that booty. You can't just lift that leg. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, eight, seven. Don't forget, we're not done. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold this one. Little pulses. Woo! Can you give me eight more? You sure can. Woo! Last four. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Stretch it back. I hear you. Okay, let's work some lower abdominals. All right. Woo! I know, that was intense. <laughs> so if you didn't feel your glutes today, I hope that one hit it for you. All right, so if you need support for your lower back, don't grab your weights, okay? So I'm going to put my hands underneath my seat if I need that extra support for my lower back. If not, hands to your side for now. I'm going to draw my knees in, get my back nice and heavy, and then zip my legs up. Got it? All right, so if you want to use your weights, arms up over your chest, palms turned in, shoulders heavy. My right leg is going to go down for two and up for two. And I'm going to flex my foot going down. Flex. Bring it up. Flex. You got it. When my leg comes up, my arms go down. When my leg goes down, my arms will go up. It's two counts even on both sides. You got it. How are we doing? Come on. Are you breathing? Are you watching that lower back? Come on. One, two, up, two, down, two. Now hold the weight still, and let's do a scissor. So I'm holding hammers on my mat with my weights. Belly in. Reach those toes long. Remember, hands can go underneath your seat. Eyes to belly if you'd like. Three. Four, five, six, seven. These legs should be like beams of steel, real long and strong. 
If you want, hover your weights off your mat. Two, three, four. I feel crooked. Let's go. Make sure you're centered on your mat. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug it in. Woo! Drop the weights. Let's all put our hands underneath our seat. Bring those legs up across the right ankle over the left and soften those knees. Now I'm going to contract my lower abdominals and lift my seat up. Two. Three. The back of your head just gently presses into the mat. Four more here. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch the ankle that's in front. Knees are soft. Ready? Here we go for 12. One, two. Don't forget to breathe. Scoop from that lower belly. Six, seven. Come on, you got four more. How's it going? Woo! Two, one. Hug it in. Whew. All right, bridges, grab those weights. Hold those weights like hammers on your quads. Your legs are one fist width apart. Everything lifts up for two counts. Everything lowers. Up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. Squeeze that bum. Make sure those legs aren't too far apart. How are we doing? Squeeze the bum, pull the belly in. I'm um, exhaling as I come up, inhaling as I lower. Up and down. Make sure you're squeezing those butt cheeks coming up. Try to also make sure you're going onto one side of your foot. Now hold this one up and little pulses. Woo! Two, three, four, five, six. How's it going? Good. Lift, lift, come on. Now I'm gonna add on to this. I'm gonna put my weights down at my side. Now I'm gonna come up, touch the knees, separate, lower. Lift up on one count, take the legs together, then you separate, and then you lower. Now if that's not for you, don't do it. Woo! Up, tap, apart, down. Can you feel the glutes working just a little bit more when you bring those legs together? You got it. Squeeze out. Woo! You got about eight, nine minutes more of work. We got a lot to do yet. Squeeze. I want you to hold this one up and just come down a half inch, separate the legs, come back up and tap them together. Up and up. So it's double time. Don't forget to breathe. Two, three, four. Drive, lift, scoop, breathe. Ten, nine. Woo, hello glutes. Seven, six, five. Come on, come on. Four, three, two, and one. Stretch those legs long. I'm going to reach my arms behind me. Whew. Nicely done. All right. Weights off to the side. Take my knees in towards my chest and then drop them to one side. But my shoulders and my chest are going to still face straight up. Elbows are wide. Hands behind my head. We're going to lift up for two counts. Up for two. Come down. You're squeezing that diagonal pocket, the oblique. So we're trying to have our bodies from our mid spine up, facing straight up to the ceiling. Exhale up. And my elbows are trying to be straight across. I'm not using my hands to lift my head. Up, up, down. Down, up, exhale. Whoop, whoop, lift, lower. 
Okay, let's go to single counts. Up and down. Go up, down. Now, if this doesn't feel good to you, if this isn't a good position for you, pick a different oblique exercise. Lift. Lift. Eight more. Exhale. Inhale. Seven. You got it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold this one up. Let's pulse it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight more here. Eight. Seven. Six. Can you feel anything? Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring those legs back to center. Woo! Let's drop our knees to the other side. Chest straight up to the sky. Shoulders in a straight line. Knees are stacked. Four, three, two. Up for two we go. Down for two. Exhale. Does one side feel easier than the other? Maybe. Exhale. Inhale. Make sure that head is just resting in those fingertips. Don't you dare take this away from those obliques with those hands lifting you up. Breathe. Woo! Good thing we don't have those play balls out here at this wind. Probably chase them down the hill. <laughs> up. You're welcome. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Tempo. Up. Down. Two. Are you squeezing in the right spot? You can't just lift. It's that top diagonal oblique muscle. Squeeze into it. Up. Up. Pull this one up. Pulse it. Woo! Eight more, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. I'm going to hug my knees in, but my knees are going to go wide. Why is my frame? Whoo! All right, we're stretching. Take the feet back down. I want you to cross your right ankle over your left quad. Let that knee fall out. Now, if this is a big enough stretch for that hip flexor, stay just like this. If not, grab behind that left quad or left hamstring and pull that leg towards you. Keep that knee away from the center. If that's still not a big enough stretch, take your hands to your shins. Don't forget to breathe while you're stretching. Take that foot back down and switch legs. I cross my left ankle over the quad. My knee turns away from me. I can just hold this or I can grab behind that thigh. Pull the thigh towards you. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. Bigger stretch. Take the hands to the shin. Breathe, please. You deserve that. Good. Take two feet to the floor. Take the arms behind you like a goal post. Palms are up. Elbows and shoulders are down. Let's float our knees to one side. Keep the shoulders and elbows heavy. Breathe, inhale, and exhale. And then on your next exhale, bring the legs back to center. And let's take our legs to the opposite side. We'll inhale and exhale. And on your next exhale, bring them back to the center. I'm going to straighten my left leg all the way onto my mat. I'm going to take my right knee into my chest and pull it while I stretch the opposite leg long. And then I'm going to angle my right knee to the outside of my right shoulder as I lengthen that left leg further away from me. That nice stretch in the hip. Good. Lengthen the right leg onto the mat. Bend your left knee. Grab on with two hands. Pull it towards you. Keep lengthening the right leg long. 
Then I'm going to take my left knee to the outside of my left shoulder, but I didn't take my right hip with me. Good. And I'm going to take both knees in and rock myself up. I'm going to take my left leg out like a half straddle, bend my right knee, and take my hands along the straight leg. Use those hands to pull your torso closer. And again, you want to breathe, inhale and exhale. Now come on to your right forearm, bend that left knee, give me a quad stretch. Knee in line with that hip. Push the foot into your hand. Let's take the right leg out to a half straddle. Bend the left knee. Turn towards that right leg. Slide those hands in the same spot. I can have one hand on my knee and one hand to my ankle. Breathe. And then come on to your forearm, left forearm. Bring that right foot to your glute. Do we feel a little bit windblown today? <laughs> Good. Okay, in a quadruped position, let's go. Curl those toes under, pike your seat up, press those heels down. Raise those heels up, press those heels down. Walk your hands into your feet. Head is heavy. Now pull the belly in. Dangle here for a second and let your arms circle. But you got to be controlling this from your belly. And then start to bring it up from the core, tucking that tail. Face me. I want you to give me a really nice big wide stance. Inhale up. Exhale down. And one more. Inhale up. And exhale down. You've made it. Woo! Butts and guts, check.